Verse of the day, Romans eight twenty eight NLT version, verse 8. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Amen. Hey y'all, welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Esther on Essie's Empire and I'm so glad that you guys are back for day two of this series. If you haven't seen day one, please go check it out. My new intro is there. Um, Let me know what you guys think about the intro. It's not too crazy, you know, you know how it, it be, you know. But I haven't had one in a while. But anyways, in this video, um, we are going book shopping as well as going to the library. So I'm going to film that with you guys. A place that you cannot take me away from is the library. The library will always be my forever home. That's where I learned what books are and what type of books I like to read. That's where I learned so much about life, literally. Like, you can't even find, like, real life things happening until you read an actual book and there's so many different like perspectives of people and how people write the descriptions everything is amazing so library is always my number one go-to when i need to go somewhere for something or to get a new book to read and then today i'm gonna go to the bookstore i don't really depend on the bookstore because i i'm not a fan of rereading things so it's it's a little weird when i go and um I, I buy a book and then I read it and then that's it. Like, it's just stuck in the house, you know? Whereas I'd rather exchange it. So if you're interested in that exchange, like bo exchanging books so we can exchange books, let me know. I'll, I'll do, um, I would love, I would love to do something like that where I can exchange books and ideas and stuff. We can do that on this channel. Honestly, I'm down for anything that, you know, will bring us growth and allow us to connect on a better basis. I will show you everything that I got from the bookstore, Barnes and Nobles, um, towards the end of the clip where I go to the library and I go to Barnes and Nobles. So you guys will see that. Um, I would also like to talk to you guys about potentially joining a Bible study. Uh, my first time was this week. I've been wanting to go, but I kept forgetting. But finally, by the grace of God, I was reminded to go. Um, although I had to leave early, I can't wait. I can't wait to come back to this Bible study group. So if um, if you are interested, I will have the code in the in the description box, the link in the description box. I'll even put it on the screen, but the best bet is if you click the link down below. It's every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, Eastern Standard Time. Come join us and be blessed. So without further ado, let's go book shopping and let's go to the library. And then I'll come back and meet you guys after. Me. 
If I didn't smell so good, would you still hug me? If I got locked up and sentenced to a quarter century, could I count on you to be there to support me mentally? If I went back to a hoopty for my bands, would you poop and disappear? Like some of my friends, if I was hit and I was hurt, would you be by my side? If it was time to put in work, would you be down the ride? I'm asking questions to find out how you feel inside. If I ain't rap because I flip burgers at Burger King, would you be ashamed to tell your friends you're feeling me? And if I wrote you a love letter, would, would you write, write back? Now we can have a little drink, you know, a nightcap. And we can go do what you like. I know you like that. Like that. Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down? Hi guys i'm back okay i hope you guys enjoyed that little montage um if you watched closely you saw that i zoomed into specific books those are either books i'm very interested in reading or i've watched the movie the hating game is now my new favorite movie all right so get into it and i i was so shook when i saw both the types of the books in the barnes and nobles because the day before that's when i actually watched the movie so that was a little something for me um and then there's specific books i like zoomed into or i showed you guys um those are books i'm really interested in reading or i just know the the author because of their preachings and stuff so I guess I'm starting to get into religious books now. I I used to not like them. I used to not like reading them. I was low-key forced to read them, but I'm I'm finding a newfound um love for them and I, I I can't wait to start this journey because I wanna know more about God and I know that I can learn from people's experiences. I can learn God from different people's perspectives but the true like connection to god is having a connection with god within yourself within yourself but i love to learn god from a different angle of life from how people have seen him and grow from there so um let me show you some books that uh, that i got but first i want to show you that i've shown you guys this on my channel but this is also a very great book um that will that will help you if you're trying to get more closer to the word and understanding faith and the word of God and God and how he works in different ways. That's a book, good book. I, I um, personally got it as a gift for my mom, but you can find it on Amazon on Target. Um, any book you're interested in, make sure you pause and, and write it down. Let me start with the books I bought. The beginning of the video, I said I I don't reread books. So that's usually why I never step into Barnes and Nobles. But stepping into Barnes and Nobles this year has really like set a fire for me to start reading again and that's very interesting but um I can't wait to read these two books I only got two I'm I'm more a fan of like going to the library and knowing I'm gonna return it because first I don't want to be like taking up space because I know I'm not gonna read it again but these two, I, I found and I read the description. I was like, nah, there's no way I can't buy these. Especially this Joyce Meyer book. Um, this girl, Chloe Yasmin, I've talked about her on my channel as well. Um, she's got me hooked on Joyce Meyer books. So this is my first ever book that I'm about to read by Joyce Meyer. It is called habits of a godly woman she actually recently just got this last week and i was like what a coincidence and she got this like i think a day after i bought mine so i was like what a coincidence and if you can see it in the montage i show you um um another book from joyce Meyer. i think it's something about the power of thank you and i wanted to read that but i thought this one this one spoke more to me so that's why i grabbed it it's small and i can read i can write in it i don't plan to give this out to anybody so i i'm gonna write in it so that's technically why i bought it and these books were not expensive at all and i'm so grateful for that because i ain't trying to spend like a ton on books it's not my thing even though i love reading 
The second book is the first thing you guys saw on the montage. It is this, The Chosen One. And it's a memoir about um, a first-generation student going to college and stuff. And I can't wait to read it because it pertains to me. If you didn't know, I am a first-gen student. I am in college, and I'm currently battling things um, college-wise and stuff. And how to adapt to college and stuff like that as an you know, a girl and everything, you know, and all that stuff. So I can't wait to read this and, you know, see someone's other perspective of going to college as a black girl in America, okay? She's an Ivy League student, actually, so that's the difference. But I cannot wait to read this, and I, I plan to keep it. I, I plan to keep it. It's beautiful. I love this so much, and I can't wait to read it. Um, Last but not least from Barnes & Noble's. I showed you guys in some Bible bags. I showed you two. The first one is because I saw it on um, Chloe Yasmin's page. So I was like, oh. But I ended up not, like, really feeling it. And I accidentally grabbed this one, but I ended up, you know, wanted to keep it. There was another one that I had saw that had more space to put my notebooks in. And I was like, you know what? If I grab this on accident, I guess it's meant to be. So I, I, I got this one. It's a very simple black. And I think that's what I wanted because my Bible is purple. So I didn't want it to clash. And there was no other color that would, you know, really fit the purple Bible. I planned, I, I wanted to get a new Bible at Barnes & Nobles. I didn't even know they sold Bibles at the at Barnes & Nobles. But I'm going to keep this for now. I've highlighted stuff. I, I, I like this. It's, it's a really like misunderstood version because it is the New King James Version. It's a little dense, but just to look at it and how um and how thick the words are and stuff on the page makes me want to keep it. And plus, it was a gift as well, so I might as well keep it. But it fits perfectly in here. So I was like, okay, I might as well keep it at this point. The tag is still on it, too. Um, there's a place to put, I, I was putting my notebook in here too. I had put my Bible notebook in here too, but <laughs> it's, you could even put pens and highlighters in here. It's cool. It's nice. It's, it's cool. If it's, if it's what it needs to fit. Let me see if it, it will fit my iPad as well. Even though my iPad can stand on its own because of the case, but let me see. Oh, it fits my iPad as well. So yeah, that that's a new thing I got. Never really had a Bible bag, so that's cool. And let's move on to the library. I got this, Faith Over Doubt. I'm not a person who has um, really battled with faith, but recently it's, it's dawned on me that maybe I should learn more about faith and why I'm so in love with the word faith and what faith means to me. For a very long time, I've always had a love for faith and I guess it's about time I find out why. So maybe this book will help me. And the word of God will always help you if you have questions about stuff like that. But I wanted to see from someone else's perspective and go from there. Another book I got from the library was Patience with Faith for People Who Don't Like Religion. I don't know why I grabbed this, but it looks very interesting. So let's see if I actually read it. But it actually looks interesting, so by Frank. Thanks, Frank, for making this book. And then I, not, I got another book. I won't show you guys, but it's for studying purposes. And then I wanted to get another book. That's actually the reason why I went to the library. Called I, I showed you guys. It was like a yellow book. I for, it's called like The Homecoming. And I, I researched about it the other time, like a while back. And it recently just came to my perspective. And I was like, wait, I should probably read it. But they didn't have it in stock. So... I'm going to have to wait and get it when it comes back. But it's by a Ghanaian American. And it's interesting because I'm also a Ghanaian American, which makes me want to read the book more. It's called The Homecoming or something like that. And it's by Ya Jayesi or something like that. So I can't wait to read that. But yes, guys, that is all the... The books I got, the haul I'm showing you of the library books and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was such a different perspective because I never really showed this side of me. But it's nice to see that I can extend some different types of versions of myself. I am a reader. I love, I love books. So it's nice to do this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you tomorrow for day three.